let me show you what brokenness looks like this is brokenness oh god if you do not lift me i cannot be lifted if you are not my song i cannot sing if you are not my crown i cannot wear anything and while men are clapping for you please take what i'm saying seriously great man great woman your knees do you know the higher you rise the farther your knees are from the ground you have to find a way of keeping these knees on the ground to say lord they call me their man of god but i am still your boy I am still that young shepherd that you carried in the wilderness i will not allow the beauty of the palace to deceive me i will not allow the excellency of the aloes of kings to make me forget the scars that came from the wilderness and while you are saying that heaven is looking at a man who has qualified for the next move of god you may not be able to speak all the english you can you may not even have all the influence and while men are saying you don't fit this position this lady is not I, I wish she was a better singer god says that is your business i have found what i have found young lady let's go to the next level of the move of god and you that's why you wonder why certain people don't fit certain qualifications based on the parameters created by men but it looks like god cannot do without them while we are there with our pride like eliab believing it's impossible for god to have a move without me and god tells you that he takes the foolish things This is how some of us came on board. Oh. We didn't come on board by the wisdom of men. We didn't come on board by the connections of people. We didn't have any default system of advantage. But we took our frail and fragile hearts and said, Your Majesty, if you will ever find any relevance, let us present our heart and our lives to you as a trophy. If there is any way you can use this vessel to bring glory to your name, and he says you are doing this for me let's go when god holds you woe betides the man who stands on the journey when god is the one holding you are we blessed the kind of vessel god is looking for in this time i'm saying this respectfully preachers hear me i love the body of christ and i speak apostolically but we need to be careful because we are gradually deviating from the things that are major to the things that are minor i believe in excellence i believe in quality administration i believe in training yourself intellectually but please in all your doing do not forget that those things only find their relevance and their credence when there is a track record of genuine brokenness It's one thing to speak, but it's another thing for His Majesty to take your voice and cause the nations to hear it. There are no gimmicks with God if it is not genuine hunger and passion. Are we together now? You can get to a point in your life where the only reason why you study is because of your ego, because you have preaching to do. You have a preaching engagement, and so you have to quickly study. But the passion is not there. And while all that nonsense is happening on earth, God is watching. And do you know, the deception with ministry is that while that is happening, the sound of the applause of men, I'm not saying their applause are not good, but they can be so deceptive. My God, what a powerful message. You brought this rema and you know, you know that what was happening on that stage was purely the mercy of God and most times we enjoy that attention we enjoy that stage light we enjoy that sense of fame and we are even ashamed to say lord we give you the glory we just say it religiously but the truth is we want to savor the moment and heaven is watching the thing with god is he can suffer long he just keeps watching and then we begin to mentor people after our pride and deception and we begin to raise people in ministry who are ashamed to give glory to god they start following us in the name of mentorship and we, when god sees that your your misleading is becoming generational you are calling the attention of heaven he has to come and say no 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 i love you too much and i love my program too much to allow you be the basis 
for the very enough of many and God will honor you for what you have done so far but you will find out that he begins to raise other people as a continuation one more time pray and say lord what is it that can stop me from being relevant in your program someone is crying to the god of heaven what is it oh god lift your voice and pray cry to your maker cry to your maker the lover of your soul the helper of men the vessel the vessel grant me a heart condition that is ever broken ever contrite thank you for the blessings thank you for the honor that comes with ministry but lord i know that you are searching for a kind of man not just one who will give you glory one who is genuinely broken you know that what was happening on that stage was purely the mercy of God and most times we enjoy that attention we enjoy that stage light we enjoy that sense of fame and we are even ashamed to say Lord we give you the glory we just say it religiously but the truth is we want to savor the moment and heaven is watching the thing with God is he can suffer long he just keeps watching and then we begin to mentor people after our pride and deception and we begin to raise people in ministry who are ashamed to give glory to god they start following us in the name of mentorship and we, when god sees that your your misleading is becoming generational you are calling the attention of heaven he has to come and say no 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 i love you too much and i love my program too much to allow you be the basis for the veering off of many and god will honor you for what you have done so far but you will find out that he begins to raise other people as a continuation one more time pray and say lord what is it that can stop me from being relevant in your program someone is crying to the god of heaven what is it oh god lift your voice and pray cry to your maker cry to your maker the lover of your soul, the helper of men. The vessel, the vessel, grant me a heart condition that is ever broken, ever contrite. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the honor that comes with ministry. But Lord, I know that you are searching for a kind of man. Not just one who will give you glory one who is genuinely broken. 